Hello everyone, I am Nagendra and welcome you back to my YouTube channel ProtoYarda. Today I am here to discuss some CIC questions with you. Among of this, I have picked one of the very important question which is Can I study abroad after class 12? We will deal this question today only. But before starting, I am just reminding you that if you are not subscribed my channel, then do subscribe and press the notification buttons too. is now running on your mind and what are you thinking for that will you go or will you not your family will allow you or not this all question becomes obviously I know but what is the conclusion is it the right time to decide that whether I will go for, for abroad or not this all question is there but what are the terms for this we have to watch it this video properly listen now the question is what? Can I study abroad after class 12? Then, before going abroad, let us come up with in our own nation, that is India. If the things are available nearer to us, for example, you are here and the things are available in your surrounding, then why? Then why we will prefer abroad? If it is available in our own nation, then it's better to choose this. But if this Features are not available if you are dream career if you are going for a dream career and the thing which is required for that If it is not available, then obviously we have to choose the option that we have to go abroad But what are the things which we will get in abroad and what are the things which we are is not available in our nation? Let's just come up with these but before going on this let us think about that how to go abroad and when to go abroad is good for us that is you are in class 11 12 or in graduation it doesn't matter you have to think right now that whether after my completion of course I have to go abroad or not like if you are in 11th then you have one more year come up with class 12 with a good percentage marks in class 12 and if you are in class 12 then do whatever you want to do and get best result and then after that decide whatever you want to do but if you are in graduation then it's not too late you may decide but if you are in class 12 then it is the very best time to think upon this and go on with this topic now for going abroad what are the procedures very first of all you have to know some of the terms that is SAT, ACT, GRE, TOEFL and IELTS what these all are these all are an exams which is being conducted and what we you have to do you have to apply for this you have to give exam and if your result is quite good then you will get a scholarship also scholarship you all know that for going abroad it's too expensive so we need what a scholarship and scholarship will be provided if you will be very good for what for your academics now for going deep it's too time taken so better go and google it what these all are and go for the each and each go each and every term really briefly let us come up with this here when we are thinking to go abroad the very first question come up in everyone's mind that is expense yeah it is quite expensive no doubt but to do to achieve our dream career we have to sacrifice many things among of this one is this but if you will be getting your scholarship then it will be beneficial for you and the important thing which i am going to discuss that is career goals if Still you are in doubt that if I will be good in this then I will join that else that else that then you have to stop you have to stop your thinking you have to wash out your mind then you have to come up with the final conclusion that what to do because once you will go abroad and to and starting and you will start with your whatever option you have selected then it will be too difficult it will be too complex to you to change to switch or to change your whatever stain you have did you have selected so here the career goal plays an important role you have to fix your career right now now maturity if you are thinking that you are not mature enough then maybe obviously you are a teenager right now 
So better, what to do? Get the help of your parents, your young, your young brother, your elder brothers, and even though your seniors, even uh, or you may take the help of any counselor also. That what to do and what to not before deciding this. So these are some of the terms which you have to follow and which you have to go deep about this. And after that, let me tell you why we choose abroad countries because some of the things are there like flexibility is available there advanced technical technology and facilities are always available there which we are lagging still now for exploring the career options we have limited but there we can have many more options are there so this is one of the advantages over there now here also in our nation also we are doing very good but still we have to prefer for the for choice for our choice of a good career we have to go somewhere else so these are the small terms which you have to think upon because once your career is decided throughout life you have to go on with this only and to switch it it is not impossible but it is too difficult now let us come up that here what will play a very important role is that now you have to decide what you have to decide that now i am in class 11th 12th okay where where you are it doesn't matter but it matters that when to think start thinking and if you feel that whatever option you are going to choose if you are below, if you belong from the science stream humanities or whatever stream your commerce all options all have a wide variety of categories are there but which country you will prefer some of the top countries i will be listing here which uh, with some of the option which will help you for selection for more details you may go and have a google, a google it and watch out deeply let me tell you some of this more important countries name watch out list of the top countries where you can study abroad after completing your 12th standard the very first is australia australia offers a huge number of disciplines in the fields of engineering science and medical sectors apart from this you can work part time for up to 20 hours this makes australia the perfect choice for international students australia is the world famous destination for higher studies apart from this the second country you will prefer that is canada every year more than half a million students enrolled in Canadian universities for commerce, arts and science programs. Known for being a stable and developed economy in the world, Canada provides attractive job opportunities once you complete your education. Based on your course duration, you can get a post-study work visa for up to three years. Apart from this, let's come up with our, the next country that is United Kingdom United Kingdom here much more options are available like some of the world's best universities for education are in the UK the United Kingdom arguably offers the highest standard of education in the world because the country has a track record of constantly producing industry leaders and industry creators across its history then the next is the United States of America. More than 50% of the top universities around the world are located in the USA. It is considered to be the best country for education and reputed for the higher education programs worldwide. Here much more countries are there. Oh, okay, after watching this much, this much thing, little bit doubt still you are having i know but now you have to think upon on this and if you have not subscribed my channel once again i am repeating subscribe it and press the notification buttons too that's it for today thank you bye bye jai hind